This is the Solway process as tested in the year 2018 KCSE Chemistry Paper 2. Question number 6. Part A. In Kenya, sodium carbonate is extracted from Trona at Lake Magadi. So, part A, Roman 1, we were asked to give the formula of Trona. And as we know from Form 2, Trona is a double salt of sodium carbonate, sodium hydrogen carbonate, and water of crystallization. Now, the number of molecules of water of crystallization, the examiner allowed the number of moles of water of crystallization to range between 1 to 10. So any candidate who had a value here of between 1 to 10 would score the mark on the formula of Trona. Part B, we were asked to name the process of extracting sodium carbonate from the salt whose formula we have just written in part 1 here. And we obtain sodium carbonate from this double salt through heating. So chemically, the process would be called thermal decomposition. Apart from thermal decomposition, we also allow the term calcination. We proceed on to the other parts of question 6. Before we do so, I want to take you back to the formula of Trona, where it is a practice by most of our candidates to put the number of moles of water of crystallization here to be X, meaning that they are not sure of the exact number of moles of water. X here will not be acceptable. So moving forward, we are advising our students to be sure of the number of moles of water of crystallization for any hydrated salt. Putting X here will not help in any way. Moving on to part B, we are told that the flowchart in figure 5 here summarizes the steps involved in the production of sodium carbonate. So we are told to of course study it, then use it to answer the questions that would follow. So we begin in chamber 1 which is usually our absorption tower. So in the absorption tower, ammonia gas is dissolved in brine. Brine is simply a concentrated solution of sodium chloride to form what we call ammoniacal brine or ammoniated brine. One thing that students need to know is that the process of dissolving ammonia in brine produces quite an amount of heat. And for that reason, we do talk about the site, the siting of Solway plants to be near reliable fresh water sources because we normally use a lot of water in cooling down our absorption tower.
Once we form our ammoniacal brine, we lead it to the carbonator or the solvay tower. In the solvay tower, this, as we always say, is the engine of the process. So in here, two reactions take place and we can go ahead and combine these two reactions to give us an overall reaction. So the first reaction that occurs is that ammonia, either in gaseous form or we also accept aqueous state because it will be dissolved in brine, reacts with carbon-4 oxide, gas, and water. Of course, water we obtain from brine. Brine is a concentrated solution of sodium chloride, so meaning that there is some water in. When these three substances react, we get ammonium hydrogen carbonate in aqueous state. This becomes the first equation for the reaction in the carbonator. Now, immediately the ammonium hydrogen carbonate is formed. It usually reacts with the sodium chloride from brine and we get ammonium chloride which we shall use aqueous as the state and sodium hydrogen carbonate. We shall use solid as the state because these two substances are separable by a simple process as filtration. So these are the two equations that take place in the carbonator, but we can also combine the two to get an overall equation where we shall have ammonia reacting with carbon dioxide, water, and sodium chloride to now form the two final products. Once we obtain them here, we shall direct the two, two filters where we separate ammonium chloride to our right and sodium hydrogen carbonate is directed to the kin where we heat it to produce our final product of sodium carbonate. So process W is thermal decomposition again we heat sodium hydrogen carbonate to produce the three substances. Of course, the equation would be sodium hydrogen carbonate in solid being heated to give sodium carbonate, to give water, and to give carbon-4 oxide. We balance with a two on sodium hydrogen carbonate. That represents the reaction taking place in process W. Now, this carbon-4 oxide would be recycled back to the carbonator through this arrow. Water here will also be recycled back to the slaker as we take our product away, bagged and ready for the market. Now, we left ammonium chloride pending somewhere. So Solvay sought a way of utilizing it. In other parts of the plant, we therefore introduce calcium carbonate in the lime kiln. Here, we heat calcium carbonate or limestone to give us calcium oxide and carbon-4 oxide. This carbon-4 oxide is directed back to the carbonator 
to be used in the reactions we talked about here. Then down come calcium oxide. This calcium oxide is reacted with water in the slaker and we are able to form calcium hydroxide. So that becomes our solid X. There we are via that equation. And of course it balances out. The moment we formed our solid calcium hydroxide, we direct it to our chamber 2 as per the diagram where it meets the ammonium chloride which was pended. When the two react, we form three substances via this equation. Ammonium chloride, aqueous, reacting with calcium hydroxide, solid. We form ammonia, we form calcium chloride, and we form water. Of course, we shall balance with a two on water, a two on ammonia, and a two on ammonium chloride. Now, this ammonia that is obtained is recycled back to our absorption tower to be used in making more ammoniac brine through dissolution in brine. Now, the solution that comes out here, solution Z, is going to be our calcium chloride, which is usually treated as the only waste in the solvay process. But we are here to also say that this process is almost 100% efficient with actually no waste at all. So we made a shot about calcium chloride and we shall ask you to have a look at it as an end video to this video that we are making. So please take your time and have a look at the short about uses of calcium chloride which we shall attach at the end of our video. With that summary, we can now go ahead and answer the questions asked about figure 5. First question is asking us to name the process illustrated in figure 5. And this is as easy as solvay process. For one mark. Next, we were asked to identify the starting raw materials. The word underlined here is starting. So, the examiner allowed Brian, because it was two marks, we were expected to mention four. There is ammonia as a starting raw material. We have calcium carbonate. And we have water. Carbon 4 oxide is not a starting material or rather raw material because we get it from calcium carbonate. Any of those four for half mark giving us the two marks for that part. Let's continue to the other questions. We were asked to write equations for the two reactions that occur in the carbonator. We have done this so far. So the first one is that ammonia and either gas or aqueous state is acceptable, reacting with carbon oxide and reacting with water. We form ammonium hydrogen carbonate as our first equation. The second equation is ammonium hydrogen carbonate formed reacting with sodium chloride from the brine and we get ammonium chloride 
and sodium hydrogen carbonate. Some examiners would ask you for the only equation, one equation, so we have to combine the two to give us an overall equation. But here we were asked the two separately. Two substances that are recycled. Of course, we recycle ammonia. We also recycle carbon four oxide. But to a lesser extent, we also recycled water. We were asked only two. Now, two solid X. If we followed the scheme very well, our solid X was calcium hydroxide. And of course, we are told to identify, so we shall as well accept anybody who wrote the correct formula for the same. Process W. This is where we obtain sodium carbonate from sodium hydrogen carbonate. And we have another name, thermal decomposition, because we are using heat. Please, this is now not calcination, because there is no trona here now. Next, we are asked to write equation that produces solution Z. Solution Z is our calcium chloride. So the equation would be the state or the situation where we are reacting ammonium chloride with our calcium hydroxide solid to give ammonia which we recycle calcium chloride which for now becomes our only waste in quotes and water we balance with a two on water a two on ammonia and a two on ammonium chloride finally for question 6 of the year 2018 chemistry paper 1, asked us that apart from softening hard water, could we state two other uses of sodium carbonate? And there are many. Glass making, one of them. We have in paper industry, in paper industry, we also have in making sodium silicate. This sodium silicate is then used in making detergents. Sodium carbonate is also used to manufacture, allow me to use symbols here, ammonium, I mean sodium hydroxide. And we also have making toothpaste. So we were asked only two, any of these would be acceptable. And with that, we've come to the end of our short video where we have reviewed Solvay process as tested in the year 2018. Kindly take some time and go through our other video which we made earlier on Solvay process simplified. We thank you for your time.